So we're going to move on to exponential smoothing. What that's going to do is take the the valleys and the mountains out of our graph and smooth them a little bit. Hold on a second while I see if I can't put the old one back in there. Bam. So what what the exponential smoothing is going to do is try to try to put like a, a best fit line that will basically try to be the averages of these peaks and valleys. So here, let me get rid of this one. This was our original one that looks like it. Let's get rid of it. So this is kind of quick too. So we're going to pick a cell, go to data, data analysis. If you don't have data analysis, remember you have to download the analysis tool pack through your add-ins. Okay, I'll just do that real quick again. You go to file, options, add-ins, do your tool pack, hit go. That's how you make sure your uh, analysis kit is there. But okay, so we're going to go to data, data, data analysis. You want exponential smoothing, click OK. Now, a lot of times this thing will, will go ahead and put data range in there, but I again, I never trust it. Go ahead and highlight the data. We're going to dampen this thing by 0.9, which means it's going to really smush those peaks and valleys out. Okay, so it's going to really, really flatten everything out. We're going to do another one here at 0.5. And we want the output, the output range. Basically, I wanted to start it right next door. So I'm going to put in E5, uh, actually E6. And I want a chart to go with it, okay? So everything looks okay. Let's click okay. So there's the graph. Give me a second while I clean this stuff up here. So I made it real pretty. So according to the exponential smoothing function, these are the predicted values for the stock market price there. And again, it, there is a general going up trend, but I'm not happy with how far these prices off. Hold on a second. So I put in a chart of, of this cell minus that cell. So these are the differences between the actual price and the predicted price. And they're way off. This one's 77 bucks off. So I don't like that 0.9 uh, damping effect. We're going to redo it and we're going to use 0.5 this time. So let's redo this. Let's get out of that. Let's get out of this. And remember, these are the differences. So I'm just going to leave that there for a second. Diff. Diffy diff. So I'm going to redo these. i get you in the middle. Sorry. And that doesn't really mean anything. So again, we're going to click a cell. Any cell, we're going to go to data. Data analysis. Exponential smoothing. The data, highlight the data, never trust the thing that's in there. We're going to change this to 0 0.5. So that should be a, a lot more bumpy, bumpy. But what I'm looking for is the accuracy here. So, and the output's the same, and I got my chart clicked. Click OK. OK. So you'll notice that the, the forecasted chart has a lot more peaks and valleys in it. And I'm looking at the differences here. They're, they're a lot less pronounced than the other one. OK. So, again, that's exponential smoothing and that dampening effect. It's all up to you. As, as the predictor, you can do whatever you want with the, with the percentage of smoothing that you would like. And if I had to make a prediction for the December price, it looks like I would just make this point one more up, and it looks like it would be somewhere right around 780. That would be my prediction for December. That's it. MGZ out.